Last week I made a video where I showed you how to use the ArchLab head tracker or the Supperware head tracker with Envelope for Life so that we can produce spatial audio in Ableton. And a couple of you have reached out to me asking whether or not it's possible to use the Waves NX tracker for that purpose. And the simple answer is yes. The more complicated answer is it depends. And uh, we're going to look into how to do that today. But before I do that, first of all, uh, hello everybody. In case you're new here, my name is Michael Wagner. I teach at the Antoinette Westfall College of Media Arts and Design at Drexel University in Philadelphia. And on this channel, I talk about digital media, game design, and spatial audio and if any of those things interest you i invite you to subscribe or join my discord server in that link is in the description below now before i actually continue i need to make one important comment and that is in order to be able to use the waves and x head tracker we need one piece of software that only exists on a mac so what i'm going to talk about today is very easy to do on a mac however if you're on a windows machine uh, there is a workaround um, that i'm going to show you i'm actually working on windows 11 here um, and uh, we can use the WFCNX head tracker as long as we have a Mac in our network. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to set up a Mac that essentially sits next to me. Uh, it's technically in my network, but it sits next to me. And I'm going to use this as a head tracking server. And I'm going to forward all the head tracking information into my main production machine, which is a Windows 11 machine. And with that being said, let's get started. The project that I'm going to use today is the same that I used last week. It's a very simple project. As always, I'd like to keep my projects as simple as humanly possible in order to bring the main points across. It essentially contains a simple piano sound that comes with Ableton. And I've also already dropped the Envelope for Life source panning device, which I set to mono. And I also dropped the Envelope for Life Master Bus for Head Tracking device. This was the modified device that we used last week that essentially is based on the original Envelope for Life Master Bus device, but includes the possibility to uh, essentially use head tracking for, for monitoring the ambisonic signal. Now, if you remember last week, we said that we need an additional piece of software, bridge software that takes the information that comes out of a head tracking device and turns that into OSC messages. And that is because the Envelope for Life master bus for head tracking device uh, needs uh, the head tracking information in the form of OSC messages. Um, and uh, we were able to do that for the RG Labs head tracker and we were able to do that for the Supperware head tracker and they use different types of software. So essentially in one case it was the um, NVSonics head bridge software and in the other case it was the bridge head soft software. Now, uh, if you want to do the same thing for the Waves and X head tracker, we will essentially would need a similar piece of software for the Waves and X head tracker. So something that essentially takes in the information of the Waves and X head tracker and turns it into OSC messages. Now, unfortunately, Waves does not produce such a bridge software. They don't produce that themselves. Uh, the bridge software that they are using is tied to their own ecosystem. So it can only be used with their own plugins. Um, so we can't really use that, but fortunately somebody was brave enough to actually kind of look into this technical specifications on what exactly it does and create a bridge software that you can download and install. Um, so we will be able to use the WIFSNX head tracker with uh, Envelope for Life by using this additional um, bridge software. However, and that's the negative part, is that this bridge software only exists for Mac operating systems. So uh, if you are on a Mac, then everything is perfect. You can just install that piece of software and, uh, and then essentially kind of run everything and it should just work. Now, if you're on Windows like I am, there's a little bit more that we need to do. And the way I'm going to approach that is by uh, essentially setting up a Mac uh, and in my particular case, it's going to be a MacBook that sits next to me as a head tracking server. So this Mac will run the NX OSC bridge software along with a routing software that uh, will route the OSC messages from my MacBook into my Windows machine. And then essentially I can use the head tracking information within Windows. So let's set that up. First things first, before we can do anything, we need to install the NX OSC bridge software. And uh, that is something that you can simply download from the developer's web page. I'm going to post the link in the description below. So go to that web page, download it, install it on your Mac, and everything should just run perfectly. Now, um, if you are in a newer Mac, you might need to bypass certain security features, but I'm essentially running it on the latest macOS version and it works perfectly. Now, the way I'm going to do that here on my particular setup is with the use of Parsec. Uh, if you are doing that yourself, you don't need that. Uh, in my particular case, I'm just using it in order to be able to show you and demonstrate you how these things work together. 
so I'm just opening up Parsec and I'm connecting to my MacBook. Um, the MacBook is already running Parsec in hosting mode and uh, that should then essentially open up my Mac. And here on my Mac, I'm now going to start the NXOSC uh, bridge software. And as soon as I'm opening that and let me just uh, make that larger so that you can see that better. So essentially, as soon as I am opening that, it asks me to connect to my head tracking device. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put that onto my headphones. And uh, as always, it's just a matter of kind of connecting it here on the top of my headphone. And then I'm going to turn it on. And as soon as I'm turning that on, I should be able to connect. So let's connect to the head tracker. And it's showing me the NX head tracker. Choose this device. And uh, it's now uh, essentially taking in the information that comes from the head tracker. And I see essentially all the information and all the uh, OSC messages that are sent out and they are sent out to the local host uh, with port 8000. Now, uh, because my Mac is a different on a different system, uh, essentially my Windows machine currently can't see those OSC messages. So the one additional thing I need to do now is I need to uh, route the OSC messages that are produced on my Mac machine. Uh, and I'll need to route them into my Windows machine. And this can be done with a little piece of software that is called OSC Router. I'm going to post the link in the description below. It exists for Mac as well as Windows machines. We, in this particular case, we, we need it for the Mac. Uh, and this router essentially allows us to take in the OSC messages uh, that are coming in and uh, um, essentially route, route them forward to uh, additional um, IP addresses and additional computers on your network. So let's just start that. Uh, so that's the OSC router. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to select as the incoming IP the local host. So that is 127.0.0.1 uh, and the port is going to be 8000. So this is essentially what is selected here as the OSC destination. Unfortunately, we can't uh, change the OSC destination in the uh, NX OSC bridge software. If we could change it there, that would actually be perfect, but we can't. So we need to do this additional step of actually forwarding them. I'm then going to pour, uh, forward that to my uh, main machine. My main machine is sitting on 192.168.0.1.2. Uh, um, I should be able to type here. And uh, I'm going to forward that to the same port, 8000 and uh, click apply. As soon as I'm clicking apply, I see essentially all the messages and they are essentially now forwarded to my main machine. So now let's go back to my main machine here. Um, and uh, let's open up um, Ableton and uh, let's select the NX OSC uh, setting here. And you can already see that now Essentially, I am getting the head tracking information and let's just center that. And as you can see, essentially, I am getting the correct head tracking information in the very same way I did that with the Archie Lab and the, um, and the Subway head tracker. Now, what I really like about the Waves and X head tracker is that it works extremely well. It's actually very, very stable uh, and it works particularly well with a, with a Mac system. For some reason, I always had issues using the Waves and X head tracker with Windows. But now, since the Mac is actually acting as a server that serves the head tracking information to my Windows production machine, this actually is now uh, extremely st extremely stable and, and very enjoyable to use. Now, this is really everything I wanted to say today. Um, thank you so much for, for watching. So if you find any value out of the videos that I do, please uh, consider subscribing and don't forget to press the like button because you know of YouTube algorithms. And uh, if you have any questions or comments, please use the comment section below or join my Discord community. Once again, uh, in that link in the description below. And with that being said, see you at the next video.